that's your Rush Block. I'm Liza Lucas at the 11 Alive Bridge taking on Harvard. One woman suing the university, claiming the school is exploiting images of her ancestors. Let's get right to the details on this one because there are quite a few. The lawsuit alleging that Harvard has, quote, shamelessly turned a profit from photos of two 19th century slaves while ignoring requests to turn the photos over to the slave's descendants. The Connecticut woman who is suing demands Harvard immediately turn over those photos and pay an unspecified amount in damages. Meanwhile, Harvard says the university has not been served with the lawsuit and cannot comment as a result. But this has turned into quite the talker on social media, and there are a lot of points that people are bringing up, and that ranges from copyright issues. Let's show you some of those tweets to public domain and any photos taken early in that area. Who do they belong to? Those are some of the legal questions that are popping up. A lot of people wondering about that versus the moral obligation of the school. So we want to hear from you this morning. Creole saying this is her family. She couldn't protect him when he was alive, but she is fighting for him now. His dignity use that hashtag morning rush ATL. But this one, it could set precedent for others to follow, guys. Yeah, this is all about restoring his dignity. So yeah. these these uh, photos were taken in the early 1800s by a Harvard professor, and she knows the woman who's fighting knows uh, the two people in these photos as Papa Rinty. It's one of her, it's her great great grandfather, and also his daughter Delia. Um, he was taken from Africa, brought to South Carolina, and enslaved. And he taught other slaves to read the Bible. Mm -hmm. So I just wanted to humanize him for a minute. Um, ha Harvard has been able to make profit because anyone who views these photos has to pay a hefty fine, and they also um, have to pay some type of licensing fee if they want to reproduce these photos. So they do get profit off of this. Yeah, I'm so unclear on how Harvard um, claims the photo, yeah. like how, how they, they stake, you know, claim to the photo. Now, obviously, she's put in some paperwork to prove that she's a descendant of, yeah. of Renty, the, the uh, gentleman that's a slave in the picture. Um, it seems like they would want to work with her. If, once, once it's proven yeah. uh, that she's a relative, that kind of thing, it seems like they would want to work with her to, uh, you know, maybe compensate her or whatever the case may be for the use of her or buy it outright yeah. from her. I, I, yeah. I think that, that tweet from Creole GC said, said it best. You know, you're fighting for the dignity of these people, mm -hmm. but uh, then you've got to think about the legal part of it, it being public domain. But, yeah, you would think Harvard would step up yeah. and, and not profit like this, yeah. that they would, you know, do the right oh, yeah. thing, you know. Yeah. Be, and so. the, the issue has been raised since 1976 when these photos were found in a uh, museum attic mm -hmm. by the, by a Harvard employee saying, mm -hmm. "Hey, this this isn't right." Mm -hmm. And Harvard has yet has still not done anything. So yeah. mm -hmm. I'm interested to see what you all have to say. Uh, chime in, use that hashtag Morning Rush ATL just to see if you know uh, is Harvard right? You know, do they do you feel like they do have the right to? have ownership of these photos and not pay that family. And, and investigate a little bit too, because I mean, if they were found in an attic, well, how'd they get there? Where, you know, let's go back a little bit yeah. for let's Let's trace it and find out, because you know, there might be more families and more photos, mm -hmm. you know, that we can track or Harvard can track down, mm -hmm. so. Mm -hmm.